Okay, here's my Hummel abode. And we're going to talk about my modified half bow tie long wire antenna. Uh, this is the front tree, front yard. You'll see where I have this strung up in the tree. And I have separators on there because the wire was getting twisted up when I was trying to erect it. That's the halfway point, and we're going to go in the back. I'm going to show you where this originates. First, I'm going to show you that long wire, or the top wire. That is actually the feed wire. It's pretty high up there. Uh, and it goes all the way almost to the top of that cedar tree. I couldn't shoot a rock up all the way, but I got pretty good distance. Uh, and it does go down through the center of that tree, the trunk. And that's what we're going to go inspect right now. So, here we go. So there's the SG tuner, or coupler as they call it. So I'll try to explain this arrangement. So that top wire that we looked at, way up on the top, not the bottom one, but not that one, but the top one. I don't know if you can see it. Whoa. But it comes down all the way through the down the side of the trunk of the tree here and it's actually let's go up there it's actually anchored at this point here with the string the mason's string nylon right there right here and that part is connected to the tuner but it's also bridged to this other wire <coughs> which I'm going to go back out here, try to put this in perspective. Uh, so there's the front we showed from the, the other angle. Oh. The lower wire comes down off of that bridle or that little yoke. And it cuts the low wire, which comes down to a tree right next to this. Uh, a little bit lower, there's an eye hook right up in here, holding the string. And the wire actually joins right there. And that wire I have wrapped around there comes down to the tuner as well. So effectively that's the bow tie. This is the big square side. And there's a high wire and a low wire that come down here. And that's kind of the only way I can get this thing to tune on 160 meters. I have a series of uh, <clears throat> radials. There's an 8-foot ground rod. It's one of these guys. Pound it all the way down. Right in the center there we see that dirt kind of fluffed up a little bit. And you see the copper ground wire. The ground rod's there. I have a series of uh, radials. Got this red wire that goes out there a little bit. It's not too long. I do have one that goes all the way outside or along the fence here. Halfway out to the driveway. There. And I also have another black one that I put out that goes all the way to the back fence and goes all the way over there. You can kind of see it there. All the way over to the other side and drapes down over onto those uh, railroad ties there. So one, two, three ground radials. Uh, I'm probably going to put more. So there you have it. <laughs> 